Hello, my name is Moving Cat, and welcome to my first day in the Aztec settlement on the beta server. Uh, this is my second video on this uh, settlement, but this is the first video in the series I will do where I will be releasing daily videos on my progress. Uh, so that uh, I can get an idea personally, and that perhaps I can help you understand the settlement and how it works. So if you haven't seen it already, uh, I'll have a link below to my uh, initial impressions of this uh, settlement and my uh, initial <coughs> me starting the settlement itself. It has now been around uh, eight, nine hours since I started it. This is my second run of five hour, uh, four hour productions. So let's see if I'm lucky with double up. Yes, I am. Nice. Okay. And is that the one I needed? No, it's not. I needed this one. Okay, but still. That's very interesting. Uh, and I do believe I can buy an expansion, and I will. Uh, so in this clip, uh, and my plan for the, this video and for other videos, is that I will be making short clips throughout the day. I will compile them into a video, and then each day, uh, using this timer here, so when this goes to zero, that's the end of day one. Uh, and when I have all the clips recorded and put together, I will release that on my channel. Uh, so around uh, midday, each day, you should expect a video of my day in this settlement. So uh, let's put these on another for our production. That will be uh, good enough. Uh, I'll, that's I'll stay up for another four or five hours before I go to bed, so that's quite nice timing. And I usually put these on uh, one hour productions. So, uh, the next thing I want to do is I do have one expansion I can buy. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, city planning or planning your expansions. So in my previous video I bought these two expansions and I got rid of an impediment over here. And my idea when I looked at this map was that this area here was very open because you have all these impediments on the edges. So I don't need to remove any uh, many impediments to get a very open area here. And that's what you want to aim for. So if you look here for example, some of these are very awkwardly, awkwardly placed. So they would be getting in your way when you're trying to uh, build buildings. Uh, so yeah, like here, a lot of impediments next to each other, very awkward, awkwardly placed. But here we have them all on the edges, so if I get these three, I'll have a very nice open area. And in total, you'll probably get eight expansions. So I have used two expansions already, so one, two. I have three, four, five, so that's, I have another three expansions. And for this settlement, I will probably go for these three expansions down here, and then remove two or three of these impediments. You'll probably get uh, I'm guessing you will get three impediment removals, or perhaps four impediment removals in the settlement. I've already removed one, so I'll be able to remove perhaps that and that button perhaps. So, making this a little bit uh, better. So that's my plan. I will open these three and these three. But yeah, for now I will open this. For ten, I'm still not, uh, still haven't quite learned what these are called. That's ten headdresses. Okay, nice. So that will give me some more free room. And I do believe that I need to focus more on the cocoa uh, cocoa bean production. So I will move these over here. I can get one more of these. That will give me enough population for one more uh, statue, statue. And I'm just trying to see if I can. I can actually fit in one more statue, that's nice. So I'll just temporarily remove these and then I'll place that there. I need one more of these huts. And then I can build two more uh, simple shrines which should be enough to get me going. Uh, this settlement works like the Japanese and uh, Viking settlements. So you need to produce cocoa beans in order to produce goods. So you can see I'm very low at the moment, so I do need to up the production a little bit, I believe. 
So that's what I'll do. And one in interesting thing about this settlement that I uh, didn't really notice last time is that the simple shrines, which in other settlements would usually take one minute to build, they take one hour. So here you need to have a little bit more thought about uh, when you want to place these down. Alright, uh, four more hours have passed, five more minutes for the shrines, but I have some goods to collect, and let's hope to get some more uh, for X bonuses. Uh, nope, only five there, and... Nope, only five there, okay. But yeah, that's uh, more or less uh, what you should expect, because if you have a look here, it's only a 5% chance. This will, of course, increase. Uh, probably increase towards 25%. Uh, uh, but yeah. And one thing that I have noticed is that even with uh, six of these shrines, I am a little bit short on cocoa beans to run both of these on eight hour productions overnight. So that's unfortunate. So I'll be running one on eight hour and one on four hours. And I'll just quickly see I need eight headdresses and 13 vegetables. So that probably means that I will need to I'll run this. That's the headdress. What do I need vegetables, right? Yeah, so I'll do the vegetable garden on 8 hour and I will do this on 4 hours uh, in 4 minutes and then hopefully I'll be get, getting some double some uh, 4 x bonuses but if not I should uh, be able to get enough to get this I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it <laughs> yeah residence let's just call it that so hopefully <clears throat> if I don't get uh, for for x bonuses which is really rare uh, I'll be able to get both of these uh, within another four hour run tomorrow so yeah that should be roughly in time for this yep that'll be just after the next day starts so that's my current goal to get these and then replace all of these two by two huts with this new residence building so, I just woke up. Let's hope for 4x bonuses. And nope. Uh, that's fine. Um, I'm collecting these in 2 minutes. And when I do that, I'll be able to do 2 more 4 hour productions, which I'll be able to get uh, yeah, 5 more of both of these, which is enough to get these residence buildings. And hopefully getting those will mean that I can get a few more shrines. So that I'm able to produce enough cocoa to run both of these and eventually a third good building. Oh, looks like I completed this. I gather hairdresses, headdresses, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Here's an impediment removal. That's nice. Interesting that you only get the removal and not anything else. I believe in Egypt you get the removal plus one other thing. So that's interesting. But yeah, I'll uh, collect these in a minute, I'll set these on 4 hour productions, and I'll see you later. And actually, as I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, I'll be using this timer to mark the days. So, because these will be completed after the new day has started, uh, I will add that, include that in my next episode. So this is uh, all that I have time for for this episode. I will collect these hourly until the new day starts. But yeah, other than that, uh, that's it for this day. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful. Uh, I hope, uh, yeah, so you can get a better understanding of this uh, settlement. Of course, this is on the beta server, so there uh, might always be some changes when it comes to live. But yeah, other than that, I think the main ideas behind the settlement, the main uh, ways it works will be the same. So you should definitely be able to get a good idea of how it works. So thank you very much for watching day one in my settlement. And uh, I'll be uploading this soon. Uh, tomorrow I will be uploading the next day where you will see me doing some more games. I will give some more thoughts on the games. And I will be building some more uh, these new residence buildings and yeah, squeeze in uh, some more 
shrines, perhaps another good, good building. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.